Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So we are doing our pickups August. for August. Yeah. Uh, hey. A couple things real quick before we get started. Uh, I think I missed out on a lot of comments from people. I tried to catch up, but um, quick story. I'm a very stubborn person. Uh, I started getting sick. I didn't listen to the people I was supposed to listen to. Uh, I ended up in the hospital for uh, like a week super the sickest I've ever been in my life so uh yeah I'm doing much better now I'm feeling a lot better um you know the recovery is going well but yeah missed out on a lot of stuff uh just it was a weird month very weird month for you know just that in my life in general just th totally threw me off mm -hmm. the other thing we want to talk about is um last month's pickup video we did amazing just you crazy guys, well we didn't do anything yeah. It was just a normal pickups video, but I think if you call out YouTube's algorithm, they are like, no, we're not going to let this guy get away with it. Because mm -hmm. for some reason it got like, I don't even know how many more times, million, you know, more views than we normally get. The point is we appreciate it so much. I don't know why. It was like a normal pickups video for us. It was us. just one we've always done. Nothing but yeah. New, nothing irregular. Uh, but in okay. terms of... Uh, like views and new subs, the amount of people that sub. Thank you guys so much for subbing last month. That was awesome. Um, we really appreciate it. Yeah, that was great. It means a lot to us. Yeah. Uh, that being said, I think this is just going to be another fun pickups. We got some good stuff. Like I said, uh, probably a little bit smaller uh, because I really only spent half the month actually hunting. The other half I spent almost dying. So not like... Um, it's still still a decent number of games, but not as crazy, on. but like good stuff. So here we go. Let's not waste any more time. Uh, just a quick, uh, very few peripherals before uh, the actual games. To pick up some more manga, got the next Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. uh, I started or I haven't started reading, but I'm starting to get Chainsaw. And then they finally came out with the new Persona. Anyone that doesn't know on this channel, I'm a huge Persona fan. Probably. Uh, the so fan I know. Been waiting for that uh, for a while. But uh, yeah, those are, that was it for that. Also got this controller. I just found it randomly on Amazon. It's a eight button controller, which I don't think is necessary, but it's uh, um, for the Genesis. I think this also works. It's been a while since I read this package, but I'm like the Switch and other stuff. I don't know why that I always. It just yawn has during these videos. You what? I always yawn during these videos. I can only imagine what the people at home are doing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just has like a little dongle. Oh, it shows it up here that you just like plug into the Genesis and it's the controller Bluetooth. like it's awesome. uh, syncs right away. It was super easy. Uh, it is. I thought it would just take AA batteries too, but it's actually just a little charger for the controller. Even better in my opinion. I don't like messing around with having to continually change batteries and the cost of that. I have an Xbox. <coughs> it sucks. Yeah, it's Xbox, not exactly. I'm not a huge fan. Just buy renewable ones. Buy, um, I think I have Energizer. Uh, they take, like, maybe half a day to charge, but then they have, like, 50 hours of battery life. I recommend them. They're cheap, and they work well. Yeah, I heard the controllers last a long time with the batteries, but still, I just don't like messing with it. But mm -hmm. this works super well. Uh, I haven't noticed any lag or anything. I've been playing, uh, like, an action game. Mm -hmm. on the genesis recently and absolutely no problem so if you're looking for a decent controller so that you don't have to like sit closer for to a genesis if you're still playing genesis like me this was a great option i believe it was like yeah i like it 35 so bucks much. so not super super cheap but in my opinion worth it for the cost mm -hmm. the other one that i picked up uh my buddy actually got this for me because i wasn't able to pre-order it when it came out and i think it sold out pretty quick it's the Astrobot uh, edition for the PS5. And I think they knew what they were doing with this, that people were going to buy this one as a collection because the um, actual, like, controller and the little Astrobot are kind of, like, embossed. I don't know if you're ever going to be able to see that on camera, but they're, like, it's a nice box. They put some work into the box. I think they expect a lot of people to not open this one. Mm -hmm. It looks awesome. Um, I, I won't use it because I don't want to ruin it. PS5 controllers, as much as I love them, I've already gone through a couple, so I feel like they're not the best made. Uh, and if I'm going to use a controller that uh, is, you know, potentially going to break, I just want to buy, like, a standard one that I'm not worried about. Mm. It's not the end of the world if that happens, yeah. okay? All right, so let's go through. We'll just do this one first. It's right here. 
this whole stack was a hundred dollars off Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. That was the deal we came to. I felt like it was a fair price. Um, you you want to do those ones? Okay. So first off, it was three complete in box uh, original Nintendo games. I did put the plastic case on them, but besides that, the it had everything inside. It's John Elway's uh, quarterback. Double Dribble, which is funny because I've heard a couple of people recently on YouTube say that they like Double Dribble. That was like a baseball game. <laughs> baseball. <clears throat> basketball game I was never really a fan of. And the last one, this was the one I was excited about, was uh, Gauntlet. And this one's not perfect. It's got a little uh, damage up in the corner. Uh, in the back of the box is, you know, a little dented up. It's old. It's an old cardboard box, but it's complete with the manual. Uh, and... I don't care as a collector that it's these boxes are damaged. Like if it was like completely shredded and the artwork was like Not indistinguishable. Yeah, that would obviously then I'm like, well, there's no point in that. But this one mm -hmm. is still so nice to me that uh, I'm super happy to have it. Mm -hmm. And then a stack of uh, PS2 games. So the first one uh, from a really good series is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Um all of these games are probably complete in box sets. They are. We buy them. Yeah. Just because that is the best way you want to get a game. PS2s, um, yeah. PS2s got to be complete in box for us. So I don't know the story, but I know that they're good games. This was actually, I think, the only Metal Gear I didn't still have on the PS2. So it was really? awesome that this was included in the slot. Mm -hmm. Next up is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 <coughs> from, well... I don't really know anything about the Baldur's Gate series, but aren't they kind of like World of Warcraft? No, they're mm. they're role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. And then next up is two, uh, bleh, True Crime, New York City. Um, this one I'm not familiar. I don't with. think I've ever heard of this game. Yeah, I never I'm played it with you. Uh, my one friend will be excited if I ever show this to him. It's if I Ooh. don't drop it. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. So do you mean to say that you only have one friend? Or one of your friends? No, I only have one friend. Mm, bummer. Yeah. Working on it. And oh. then this was the only one out of this lot that I was kind of disappointed in. Because I really want this game. And I didn't have it. But this is the greatest hits it's version. The greatest, and yeah. we don't like the greatest hits. We like the uh, the black side cover. It's the Okami label, yeah. or Okami? Okami. Okami? Yeah, it's okay. pronounced Okami. Oof, my apologies. Oh, you're fine. And actually, this looks very awesome. Yeah. And like a game that I would play. Yeah, I just... Uh, so, once again, I'm okay with the greatest hits, as long as they're complete, mm -hmm. to work towards my PS2 collection. But, once again, eventually, all of them I want to replace with the normal one. So, uh, it's kind of... Usually, we... Minor, minor nit, nit, nitpick. But for $100, mm -hmm. I feel like this stack was more than worth it. I don't know... I know I added it up at the time, and it was... Like, just but based off price charting, which isn't always the most accurate, it was way over $100. So I feel like it was a really, for me, it was really good. Especially three complete NES games. Or, yeah, NES. Even though, like, football and double dribble, it's still fine. It was still cool. It's still cool to have them complete. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do the rest of the PS2. Uh, anybody that's watching this video hasn't watched any of our previous pickups, I'm very slowly working towards a complete PS2 set. How, so, much, how much are you at? Like, well, I'll tell you right now. With the, all the games that we picked up today, the five we just showed in this set, we're at six ninety five. Six ninety five. So dangerously close to seven hundred PS two games. Mm -hmm. So yeah, getting very exciting. Aren't there like two thousand <clears> total? I think there's just around nineteen hundred. Nineteen. Oh, so, so it's gonna like... take a long time. I'm like a third of the way. Yeah. Which is just scary that there's that many more. But uh, yeah, these uh, actually we all we found from. Um, <clears throat> goodwill mm -hmm. so not the not, you know most exciting titles but I, I was super happy to find them all complete in box they're all in pretty good shape too uh things start country i do not enjoy country music yeah but uh your main game your mom does and your sister loves getting attention so i have the microphone maybe some night we'll hook that up who knows uh nba 07 uh the life volume 2 i like i don't couldn't tell you the number of Basketball games, football games. It's insane. They're like, pretty on much this all the same. But I'm, so different. I'm so happy when we find them. That's the entire At Goodwill, because I'm like, I would have never known this existed. So I just, it's able to, it's great to be able to grab them. Uh, here's Madden 010. One of the only, we only have like one or maybe two Madden games left on the PS2, which I can't believe we don't have them all, but 
we're getting close. Uh, ESPN NHL Hockey. It's a cool cover, actually. All-Star Baseball 2004 with Derek Jeter. Here's Arena Football. Whoa. Didn't know that was a game at all. Oh, that's a cool thing. And then uh, the last one, this one was cool. Uh, Woody Woodpecker. Very clean. Uh, and once again, these are all complete. Uh, I won't pick them up. I don't like to resell. Uh, so I won't pick them up from Goodwill unless they're complete. But uh, to have them all, you know, in good shape uh, with the manuals makes me very happy. Mm. Uh, and these last three were eBay pickups. I did eBay. find them on eBay uh, very early on in the month when I was... Uh, before I start picking up other stuff, I always get antsy. I'm like, oh, I've, I, you know, I need some new games that I don't have time to play. But um, these were all very reasonably placed, priced well under what their uh, value is. So oh. no, and nobody else bid. So I got some great deals on these. First is uh, Gun Grave Overdose. Um, he's gonna have to talk about this one. Got the, I don't know. <clears throat> I had the first one, um, and uh, I just saw this. Uh, didn't, I, I don't, didn't even know I had a sequel on the PS2, but I just follow it until the end. And if nobody's bidding, uh, you know, I put the minimum bid in and I'm always in my mind. I'm like, okay, that's it. If I don't get it right now, I'll, I'll get it somewhere down the line. Nobody else bids. So I couldn't, I honestly can't remember the prices I paid guys. This was so long ago. Uh, Next I, I just don't know. Is probably my favorite title. It's a cool cover I've too. Seen is Hurdy Gurdy, <clears throat> and I think it's an. I I just think it looked awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I once again, this is a game I don't know anything about. I don't remember from back in the day either. I don't. But even... it, when I saw the listing, I'm just like, that's like a super cool looking cover. I don't yes. know anything about it. Someday we'll play it. And then lastly is Firefighter FD18. Time is ticking. So yeah, if you ever want to play as a firefighter. And put out fires. Graphics look pretty good for a PS2 game. Yeah. Too. So it's because PS2 is made. Really good pickup this month. Uh, a little bit. Uh, well, I don't know. This feels kind of regular. To how many we pick up? Maybe a little bit less for but... a PS2. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a good amount. Yeah. I mean, we between this and the five and that, that's fifteen. Yeah, half of our pickups so, for PS2 are usually like Madden games. So, or yeah, pickup. just filler titles. Yep, for sure. But anyways, yeah, up to six ninety five. So. Really close to 700. I could pretty much guarantee at this point by the end of the year, I'll hit 700. I can mm -hmm. pretty much guarantee. I can't imagine me being able to restrain myself enough to not Get buy to five more PS2 yeah. games. Okay, so let's go over the uh, uh, Sega Genesis games. My goal every month is to pick up one Sega uh, game, uh, but I got three mm -hmm. this month. I'm going to do this one because I just played this <laughs> and it was amazing. It's this on is Sega CD, it's there. Kids on Sight. You drive a bunch of construction vehicles. I um, did the excavator and the uh, giant, I'm forgetting it, it's the one with the giant ball at. The wrecker? Yeah. So I love that game so much. It was pretty much just like you click a button and then the game shifts like left or right and then you have an action button. But it was, it felt really smooth. This I would be it. a it good game funny. to play with your cousin. Like, to yeah. bring, like, Jack down one night and play with... Like, I bet he would be able to do it. I think he would also so, like it. So, first of all, before we, get, before we get to have himself, which he already has... Sorry. Sega CD, it's not one of the those big jewel cases. It's just a cardboard case. But this is in really nice shape. Uh, and it is complete. Like, super nice shape in here. Um, with the... And the manual's a really nice shape. The, the disc just comes in, like, a <laughs> little, like plastic sleeve there's like no uh indentation for it to sit here which is fine but yeah just like i couldn't believe how uh nice the box was for being so old mm -hmm. uh and you know once again like nobody bit on it i was i when i saw it i started laughing i didn't even know this was a thing this is this is how old i am this is, it reminded me of when i was a kid there were like vhs tapes we used to watch of like this type of stuff like you'd like oh let's go visit the construction site and they just like you show you around. I don't know. It was super, like, boring or dry. But, like, as a kid, you're like, okay, this is, you know, this is what we had. <laughs> so, this is, like, an interactive version of that. I thought that, I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Not going to spend a lot of time playing it unless, once again, like, if we rope your cousin in down here. Like, are, we have a couple little cousins. This would be great for it. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it made me laugh more than anything. So, I had to... Uh, had to put a bid. Thank God nobody else bid good. on it because I wouldn't have gotten into a bidding war. But I'm I'm really glad that we have that. I just think it's funny. Mm -hmm. um, the next one is just again. I think it goes 
these, for whatever reason, have a little value. I don't know if they're actually decent platformers, but uh, it's Garfield Caught in the Act, and um, nobody bid on it. So I think I got this for under 30 which I feel is like a good price for it. I could be wrong, but uh, this was, I think, the first, one of the first games I purchased the month, and I'm like, okay, there, it takes care of my uh, my Sega Genesis uh, quote, quota, so, you know, self-inflicted quota, like I want to get one every month. Uh, but it's, you know, good copy, it's complete. So I picked that up before I saw this. This was, this is, by the way, he's about to show you, my most exciting pickup of the month. This was the one that I was most excited to get. This is a show that, for whatever reason, when I was a kid, I was just, like, super obsessed with for a short time. It was, like, the coolest thing. Um, and this is, like, a super minty copy of this game. It's got the hang tab. It's got the and manual's really good shape. It has, like, the um, registration card, which I don't care when games have that or not. But anyways, go ahead and show them. It is Toxic Crusaders. <clears throat> and it's an expensive game. I spent over 100 bucks. Whoa. Yeah, it's not cheap. But um, it's a beat em up, uh, you know, like an old school beat em up. We're actually, um, I'm actually gonna make you play this with me. Okay. Uh, it's, you probably won't, I mean, it won't mean anything to you, but yeah, it, I was just super, super happy to add this one. This is uh, my most favorite pickup I've gotten in a while. I've actually gotten more into beat em ups too, because they're so quick. I actually have time to like, you could just jump in and play. So I actually have time to play them for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm excited to actually play this one a little bit more. Uh, yeah, just very happy. And does it matter that they, the game still have the hang tabs or the registers cards? No, but this is one that I was happy to get, like, complete, complete. There's, like, no nicks or anything in the outer plastic on this one. It it's really just, like, is great. Indeed. It's super great. And also, too, I will mention the guy that I bought off eBay, like, wrapped that thing to, like, the nines. Like, it was not going to get damaged in transit, which is how it should be. If you spend that much on a video game, I bought some off eBay that people send them in, like, mailers, and they're, like, the really old, brittle jewel cases. And then they come broken. I'm like, dude, what are you thinking? If I'm spending that much, you got to spend, especially when you charge, like, $10 to ship it, you got to wrap it up. But he did a great job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so kind of just, like, one more stack to go through, and then we're done. Uh, we're doing good. Video Games Plus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're not going to have too long a video at all. Video Games Plus had some uh, great deals this month, mm -hmm. uh, games that were on sale, and then I think some of them weren't a sale, but just like restocks, so got a lot of stuff to show up from there, and then, then we're done. Okay, so the first one, I'm never going to say this name right, it's Uta Warumuno, I have no idea, it's a Mask of Truth. So here's the thing about this game, I already have it on PS4, mm -hmm. Uh, it's open. There's like, th I think, three games in the series. And this is the only one I have. So why did I rebuy it? Uh, because this one, for, it's sealed. It was under $12. Under? Under 12 And it has a pillowcase with like a anime girl on it. I don't know if you could, it's down here at the bottom. I'm just really tempted one day to open the pillowcase and put it on my pillow. And just have uh, my, my wife just like... Freak out? Freak, just, okay. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious. But, um... If I don't do that, I don't know. I just thought it was so cheap. Mm -hmm. they, this is one of the ones that was on sale. It was so cheap. I'm like, how do I not get this for like... It, I think, honest to God, I think it came out to like $11 US. So it was like an easy buy for me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Next is Data Live. I don't even think I've ever heard of this. He can talk about that one. This is one of the ones too that was on sale. And I think it's just like a visual novel type style. Mm-hmm. It is also Data Live uh, Rio Reincarnation. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about it, but uh, it looked super cheap. Or it didn't look super cheap. It looked, it was super cheap. It looked like it could maybe hold some interest for how much it was. So I had just added it into the group. Next is Crystar. 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 Oh. Yep. Uh, this one was one I was actually excited to add um, to the um, collection. One I genuinely would like to play and is going to get added to the eternal backlog uh but i figured it was cheaper to buy it now while it was on sale it's new and then you know hopefully someday mm -hmm. get time to play and then uh lastly in this little pile before we get to the other stuff is shining resonance refrain uh joyconic launch edition so this is a steel book it yeah. comes sealed um looks like it has an outer cover for the steel book too 
it's it's actually a nice addition. Mm -hmm. uh, no experience with the game, but this is one I've heard, you know, because I watch just an, way too much YouTube. Uh, I've heard a lot of positive things about from people. Um, and, it, like, it was on sale, so I figure why not get it now, you know? Mm -hmm. It just looks like an action RPG from everything I can tell. But, yeah, like, it's just one of those ones that's nice if I... Uh, ever have time in my life and I'm going through, you know, looking for a new game to play and to see it on the shelf. Uh, those were awesome. You know, I felt I was really happy to pick all of these up. And also, I don't get PS4 games very often. Yeah, so usually you only get like one a month. If that. that, yeah. So to add some more PS4 games, I'm always happy to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Last is the Switch pickups that were, I think these are all from um, Video Games Plus also. Unless some of the... Unless there was a delivery from Limited Run. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out as we go through. The first one is my big oopsie of the month. I think this is like that first week I was sick. So I wasn't really paying attention. Um, and I don't know why, but I didn't think I had this one. But I already do. So, oh well. It's Trails Through Daybreak. It's the, uh, the um, deluxe edition. And I think I saw a picture that... It had like an art book and all this stuff, and I, the price wasn't that bad, so I'm like, okay, I, I added it, and I didn't realize the art book is like the tiny one that comes in the one I already had. So, anyways, this is a, a duplicate, so that's not exciting. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Probably give it to someone or sell it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna keep. I, there's no reason to keep two copies. I'm not gonna keep one sealed. So I'll. I don't know what I'll do. Anyways, that was like my least exciting pick of the month because when I got it, I was like, oh, I already have this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is another visual novel. I, I got a lot, and I'm not a big visual novel guy, but there were the deals were too good on uh, Video Games Plus. They killed it this month. If you don't shop on Video Games Plus, by the way, it's I know it is a Canadian website and Canadians, ugh, you, but... um. They just have such great deals, and uh, I've never had any issues. They're quick with shipping. They, you know, communicate well. So, like, if you're looking for good deals on video games, check out their website for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one is AI, the Insomnia Files. Like, uh, did I say that already? Did I say the name? No. Uh, okay. So, visual novel. I've heard, good once again, good things. I'm just not a visual novel guy, so I can't promise I'll ever get to it. Uh, I have heard of this one. This is Hades. <clears throat> yeah. Um, this is... That's one I don't think was on sale. Mm -hmm. but it was um a restock that they had and mm -hmm. i didn't want to miss out because that's one of those ones that the price has just like gone up so much mm -hmm. i forgot what kind of game this is like so it's like a roguelike so yeah, i think what you do is you fun. you start a run <clears throat> and you get as far as you can mm -hmm. but you like unlock abilities or stuff like that to build up your character and then when you die like you restart but with those abilities so you get stronger and stronger uh every time i believe that's how it goes mm -hmm. it was supposedly when it came out people were raving about it I'm not huge, once again, not a big roguelike person either. I've heard very good things about this yeah, game, and this I've is, heard that people absolutely loved it. Maybe this is one where I'll make you play, and I'll just sit back and watch and relax. Okay. Because that's like, feel I feel like that's more where that game belongs. Mm -hmm. The next one is West of Loathing. Now, I'll let you look at the back, but I was very excited to get this one. Um, I've heard just very positive things. Now, if you look at it, the graphics... It's okay. like a literally black and white like stick figures. Um but it's like RPG. Mm -hmm. And I heard the the writing and the storytelling is just phenomenally done. Like it's super entertaining. Like people like laugh as they play. So uh they well they named the sheriff's office sheriff. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So I'm I was very happy that um that was uh, once again I think not a game that was on sale just to restock. Mm. But well, very happy I mean, to get it. Look at this cover. That's that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Next one, also another one that I was super excited that they had. And this oh. one, this one actually, I think was one of the ones that was on sale. I should have kept them separate, guys. But long month. Once again, I apologize. But it's the Shovel Knight, the Treasure Trove. Uh, I really love the design of the Shovel Knight characters. Uh, but I didn't have the game, uh, and I didn't want to get the 3DS. I'm really, I'm really not buying a lot of 3DS stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they put all of them, all the games, on the Switch in a collection Plus like this. you can use the uh, Amiibos that we yeah, have. Yeah, we, yeah, we've had the we've Amiibo had forever. Probably <coughs> since we got this house. Yeah. And it has been about game. that long, too. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one, I, once again, it's very excited to have this because oh. I didn't want to buy it full price. But I heard it was, I've heard this is good. I don't uh, know. I heard that. 
I'm you, gonna do this one. Okay. okay. So this is Sonic Frontiers. Um, like any other Sonic game, I heard the music was good, but I did kind of hear that in mixed reviews. Some people said it was good. Others said it wasn't really worth the money. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons I didn't want to pay full price, mm -hmm. but I heard, like, I heard enough positive things about it that it was worth like, trying. Yeah. I really like Sonic games. I get that maybe they can be a little boring, but I think... I love Sonic. I, he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. So great. Um, I, I was very happy that they had it. Um, and I, don't, once again, don't remember the price, guys, but uh, I didn't pay full retail price. So it was one of the ones I was happy to see at a uh, at a discount. So I, I'm happy. I'm actually excited to try it out sometime. Mm. I think if it's at a good discount, maybe like <coughs> 40 to 50%, then it is definitely worth picking up. Because just because, <coughs> you know, Sonic is... Sonic's cool. awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Sonic is cool. He doesn't... Not every game is a banger, but I just... I appreciate the games just because... I like cause, the... Because uh, he's in it. The Sega Genesis ones. Those are oh, the best. Well, I mean, those... Yeah, I mean, that's, you know... Mm -hmm. The moosh boosh right there. Okay, so the very last pickup, guys. This is a weird one because... I kind of missed out on the first one. I don't know why I never bought it physically, but now just the game goes for like a hundred dollars. Yeah, total. So I'm worried, man. I just don't. I can't bring myself to spend a hundred dollars on a game that I don't know if I'm good enough to beat. If I'm gonna devote that kind of time, so I bought this one. It's the collector's edition, and my original thought in my head was that. Okay, I'm gonna buy this and I'll trade it to somebody for the first and second one, the physical of the first, like just the normal copies. Mm. I figured this will be worth the cost of the trade. But then I watched a couple people unbox this, and it's the collector's edition is really cool. <laughs> it's cool stuff in it. So now I don't know what I want to do. If I want to just wait and eventually buy that one, the first one physical. The, what I got was Blasphemous 2. It's just the collector's edition. This is a huge, heavy box, and I know there's a ton of stuff in here. And I'll tell you guys right now, normally we unbox stuff like this during these videos, like show you everything inside. I'm not going to take the cellophane off this because I, in my head, I haven't decided what I want to do. We are very sorry. Yeah, I just, it looks awesome. And it's not that I don't want to keep this, but I want to get the, I want to have both physical games so I can play them. So is this kind of like a from So game? this, this is like a 2D, uh, like Souls game. Really? Yeah. So I, that's they're supposed to be, alley, they're I supposed played, to be yeah. like brutally hard and like kind of like, um, like gory and gross, like a lot of like weird like characters and like gore and, and yeah and stuff. yeah exactly so the first one got you know was like a huge hit when it came out i think and they said this one's even better the, the helmet that's the that's who you play as that's like the main character mm -hmm. that's your case so plus this cover art is oh it looks insane. awesome yeah that's like it looks great incredible so i'm gonna just hold on to it for now i don't know what i, what I want to do i do want to play the first one mm -hmm. but maybe i'll just end up buying the bullet and spending a hundred dollars on that someday i don't know i can't decide but yeah. I was this. I felt like this was worth spending the money. I think it was expensive. I think it was close to between one twenty and one fifty. Ooh, but that's new. I think this but then is, again with all it comes with. That's kind of yeah. And I and I feel like in the aftermarket when this is not available anymore. I don't even know if it is. I haven't looked, but I could see this easily going for like two hundred dollars sealed like this, mm -hmm. which I feel like would be enough if I like traded it for the both games. I don't know. I can't decide. I don't want to waste your guys' time deciding that, but this was the final pickup for the month. It's a very nice-looking collector's edition. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's it for uh, these the pickups. Uh, thank you guys so much again for uh, all the views last month and um, the, all the subs. And, you know, just being a part of the channel, we really appreciate it, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for your continued support. Um, we have a lot of fun doing these videos, so we're yeah, glad that sure. you guys enjoy them. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, have a nice day or night. So, so official. Bye, guys.